What's up guys? Today we're going to be making crystals and what you'll need are sea salt rocks, Elmer's glue, gel food coloring, a glass bowl, wooden sticks, and some glitter. So to start off, you're going to use equal parts of glue depending on how big you want your crystal to be. Now I'm taking that gel food coloring and I'm using that wooden stick just to add the pigment to the glue and I'm just going to swirl it in. To give your crystals a really cool look, you can mix different colors and I'm mixing pink and purple to give it a galaxy effect. Once you're happy with the color, now we're going to add the equal parts of sea salt rocks. Keep in mind that this glue dries really fast, so you want to work really fast with it. Make sure to coat all of the sea salt rocks with the glue because that's how they're going to stick to each other. Once it's all mixed together, you want to quickly mold your shape. The key to molding your perfect crystal shape is by cupping the mixture back and forth in your palms. Kind of like making a snowball, except you want to make sure that you have a flat bottom so the crystal can lie easily on any surface. There are going to be some salt rocks that don't get any color, which is completely fine because you want to try to add those to the top of the rock to make it seem like real crystals. On to the fun part, this is where the crystals come alive. By adding glitter, this will give the crystals dimension. You can add any variety of colors to make your crystals pop. So for mine, I chose white, purple, and blue glitter to stick with that galaxy theme. Let them dry for a full day, and once they're dry, you can flip them over and spray paint the bottom any color of your choice. I chose gold because it makes them look super expensive. And you want to do at least two coats and let them dry for a few hours. Once you're all done, that is a finished look. You can put them on your desk, you can put them on your makeup table, anywhere in your apartment. Give them as gifts to your friends and family. They are so easy to make and I'm so glad that I shared this with you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video.